You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet. Welcome back. Yeah, so, um, how you doing, Dave? I'm okay. So this is us playing old games. Sort of. Not today. Not today, though. (laughs) Sometimes we do that. Yep. So we, uh, after, you know, last week, Dave and I kind of reconfigured our schedule, and my brother got married, so I was gone all week. And there was no way, which I'll, I'll save that intro for next week. Uh, I want to know. That's, that's I want to know about the, the wedding. It was very pretty. They got married in a, on a like a mountain in Gatlinburg that overlooked this huge, uh, like foggy valley. Yeah, and mountains in the background. Like beautiful wedding. Beautiful. Did you get to rest at all? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I was hoping that you'd like kind of be like a little vacation. Kinda. Oh, not not remotely. Yeah. <laughs> so, so why not? Um, because it's because like that Monday Monday I worked like. It was like a 15-hour day while I was catching up from last week and then doing stuff so I could be gone the rest of the week. Right. So yeah. got home, crashed, got up, got everything ready, drove to Gatlinburg, got there, crashed, got up early, went to Dollywood, did Dollywood all what day. What day is this then? Wednesday? This is... Tuesday. Tuesday. So after working 15 hours and then driving straight to Catlinburg, the very next day you got up and went to, went to Dollywood. Dollywood. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was relaxing, yeah. That was Dollywood. Um, I don't know that it, I've ever it been. Was, it was fatiguing. It was fun, but you yeah. mean, I'm walking around all, all day long. Um, which it, it was it was good. We had a really great time at Dollywood. At least it wasn't as hot then as it is like right now. Today. No, it was it was totally like acceptable levels of of yeah. heat. Like today would have been miserable. Yeah, no, today would have sucked. The, the park was at max fucking capacity. So like, yeah, of course it was. All the lines I mean, were yeah. super long. Um, but the kids really enjoyed it. We did more kid rides than anything else. But I got to ride a few really cool roller coasters. I don't know that I've been to Dollywood. What's the big thing there? Like, what's the big ride, or what's, like, the thing that I might remember from childhood? Uh, let's see. They have, I think one of their big things is they have the fastest wooden coaster in the world. Oh, that was Dollywood? Uh-huh. Oh, okay, then I've been to Dollywood. I okay. just, yeah. I can't remember what that coaster's called, but. The Lightning Rod, I think, because that was the big wooden one, because I, I rode that. That did, was closed for a lot of the day. Did Opry Mills also have a wooden coaster? Yeah, it was like the guillotine. Uh, fuck. Maybe I'm mixing the two. The up. hangman. The hangman had yeah. was at was at uh, Opry Opryland fuck. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I can't. There's no telling where I went. <laughs> 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 it wasn't I, like I don't know. There's places that I remember, like Disney World. Like yeah. I remember going to Disney World as a kid, but like outside of that, and like maybe Six Flags, it's like the rest of them kind of congeal together. Yeah. Where it's like I'm not sure if that was this one or that one. I'm or, with you a hundred percent. Because I have to think like, oh, was. Because mostly I always went to Six Flags. Yeah, I mean Disney Disney nice. World sort of stands out because that's very that's different, far away, but, and that's like a yeah, that's like a trip. But some of Kings Island and Six Flags and Dollywood kind of blur blend together. I've never been to Kings Island. Kings Island is the best one I've been to so far. Yeah, I've heard it. I've, uh, yeah. I've heard it's good. If we want to go to Cedar Point next, so hopefully maybe on our, our listen uh, when we do our annual anniversary trip. There's my father. Okay, so my dad walked in and we stopped for a while. That also reminds me of an addendum to the story because he also did that this week. Uh, oh, in, at the wedding? In an uncomfortable way. <laughs> uh, but then we got from Dollywood, crashed, got up, did all the wedding stuff. You say crashed a lot, with like, it makes me worry with driving. Well, <laughs> I, w- I wish I could say crashed properly because there was very little sleep because we shared. Um, all the rooms were, we had, you know, because we had everyone there, my parents and then all the kids, we all got a big Airbnb, uh, which we were told, like, not very high in the mountains, you don't need a four-wheel drive to get to it. Uh, the van did get stuck, like, we couldn't get up the hill when we first got there. Wow. It was, it was Melissa was very angry, because uh, she asked the woman, she's like, 
I've got a big advantage. It's going to be a problem. No, no, no. You'll be totally fine. It'll be great. The last leg, like uh, we had to like back up and hit it at an uncomfortable speed to get up the hill. Wow. So yeah, that that sucked. That did. That, yeah, that sounds horrible. So like the van and everybody in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we shared a room. Uh, up, up, we put the kids in the beds, my parents in the master bedroom, and then we had this room with a pull-out sofa because it had like a TV in it, and there was enough room for Jack's pack and play, and then the pull-out. But I guess Jack was in a very unfamiliar place, and the TV he couldn't like lay down and watch it; he had to stand up. So like one night he just didn't sleep, just didn't sleep at all. Like so we were up all night with him because he was just like he's having a good time all night long. Um, oh, like wait, like legitimately, like a good time. Like, oh, he was happy, bouncing up and down, and yeah, oh, just excited to be in the new, in the new space. That yeah, that or he just couldn't relax, and or yeah, because he he hardly slept the whole time we were there. So we hardly slept the whole time we were there. Wow. Um, because yeah, wedding, everything with the wedding, went home, uh, then cleaned up, packed up the next morning. Packed up, drove home, got in time, got here in time, just in time for Melissa to go to work yesterday. So you got back. So then you got back Friday, yesterday. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Yep. Yeah, pretty, <laughs> yeah, pretty quick turnaround. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so yeah, I get another not not as stressful right. as the previous as, week. Right. Sure. Just again, very busy. Yeah. Uh, so then this this all causes. Just right. Just, yeah, just, <laughs> just right. right. Well, I don't think we're going to get through all the calls. So, I mean, we've, we'll yeah. have some more. We might have some more. Yeah, yeah. So the uh, the very expensive streaming service. So if you called and you don't hear your call, here here is the, the filters that uh, were handed to the extremely expensive... Uh, call screening. Call screening service. Mm-hmm. That number one is call quality. I know a lot of people, you listen to us in your car, so you call us from your car. But if you right. call us from your car, it sounds a lot like of shit. Time, yeah, we cannot <laughs> Not 100% understand. 100% of the time. It sounds yeah. like shit. <laughs> so I, I apologize, but a, a lot of them got deleted if you called in your car because it's, you're nigh understandable. Right. Un, sure. un- understandable. Strunderable? Un, 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 can't, can't, can't get what you're saying. Un- understandable? <laughs> un- understandable. <laughs> Misunderstandable? Misunderstood. Uberstandable. Uberstandable. So that and then that also went up. That was harsher the more you called. So if you called once and the call quality was like enough to listen to, okay, it stayed in. If you called a shit ton of times, Adam and Michelle. So <laughs> the call quality for there, if it was shitty, it's just like, okay, well, we're gonna get to that one. Uh-huh. So if you if you called infrequently, those tried to get left in. If you called a whole lot, we were more the screen service was more particular about what those sounded like. But pretty much just number one, call quality, two, frequency, three, um, how much it provoked, like provoked a good discussion or mm-hmm. questions. And then after that, just mistakes, or if you said, delete my call, please. So, <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean mistakes? There was a really, I was, I was going to leave it in, uh, but I would have had to edit it, edit the call. Because it was somebody calling, thought they were calling their realtor, like, okay, I'm ready to close on this house. Um, I'm not sure when the deadline is, blah, 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 blah. But if you please call me back, you have her whole phone phone number. I was like, that's funny, but I don't want to edit that. So delete. We'll we'll save more time. Don't want to dox the new homeowner? (laughs) Yeah. 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 Thanks for this Miss Pac-Man, this box of Miss Pac-Man that you you brought back from Gatlinburg in the middle of your non-vacation. Yep, I picked something at a gaming store by where we had dinner one night, and they had that, and then a Mega Man X paper craft that I, that I liked of uh, X fighting uh, Sigma's final form. In cool. X1, so. Cool. How big is that? Uh, it's it's small ish. It's not it's not very big. Yeah. How's your week? Not great. Yeah. Yeah, I had a friend die. So. Oh. So I did not that know. sucked. Yeah, Ooh. and now all that happened like within last recording and this recording. So the funeral's all over. That was yesterday. So everything, everything's done. Yeah. But yeah. So not great. I mean, you know, not horrible, but yeah. you know, also not great because we weren't like super close. But I'd see him about four times a year, kind of deal. That's still that's substantial. Yeah. Yeah, I feel better now having gone to the funeral. Like uh, leading up to then, it was kind of shitty. 
but then like yesterday it was just kind of like a nice like okay we can kind of like you know what i mean yeah it's kind of over not you know not really over but it's like at least there's some kind of closure yeah it was weird man because it was like going in um to the local one of the local funeral homes here like he used to work at like um the local one of the local news channels and it was really weird because like he was uh in his 60s so it's like i knew him later in life we mm-hmm. worked together and then when he retired uh we kept in touch and then like we'd go out and you know uh eat lunch like i said like maybe once every three months or something mm-hmm. Uh, and then, um, he was the guy who, uh, I told you about, I don't know if I mentioned him on the mics, but he was the guy who used to sell shoes on eBay. Uh, he was like really, really, really good at, uh, the phrase that was used at the funeral that I laughed at because it was so accurate of him was he knew his way around a buck. Like Mm -hmm. he was always hustling and it was like, he invented a whole bunch of things, uh, that sold on uh, QVC, or no, sorry, the Home Shopping Network. Really? Yeah, so like he'd invented this like, um, like a whole bunch, a whole bunch of different things, but like the big one was like an adjustable sprayer for a hose, um, and he sold it to like um, Lowe's and Home Depot, and also was on like, I guess the Home Shopping ne- Home Shop- Home Shopping Network with Bob Vila, like Bob Vila did the spot for it. Damn. He confirmed that Bob Vila is like a total asshole. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. But anyway, uh, it was weird. To, it was so weird. Tim Allen was right. It, right. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, when I went into the the funeral home, they had like old footage so of him like when he was working at the news station. So it was weird to see him like mm. uh, our younger. our age yeah. essentially. Yeah. Yeah. So so very young our age. So I'm gonna look at that. So super young. So yeah, this has not been a week of like evaluating how much time uh, is left. <laughs> yeah. So, cause I'm yeah all week I feel like I've been doing quick math where it's like all right he's 67 and I'm fucking almost 40 so that's uh pretty much uh, yeah. that's pretty much done. <laughs> You take good care of yourself, though. <laughs> uh, not this year, I haven't. You, well, you have compared to like a few years ago when you quit smoking. That is that is true. You know, you've cut back on. I so, smoked for a, a solid block of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty like a, you were a pretty consistent smoker for a while. You know, yeah. Because I always, about a decade. Well, if I think about you back in like college, it was cigarette and a rock star energy. Yeah, constantly. Yeah, yeah I've graduated to no cigarette and monster. <laughs> yeah. Well, Monster Evernet at Diet Monster, and it's uh, that is and, you, true. and you're doing obviously you do a lot more water, Ultra a lot gold. more coffee. That is that is true. I do a lot more water, a lot more coffee. Yeah, you lost a lot, a ton of weight from like around the time you and Nikki got married. True, I've gained yeah. it almost all back. It does not look at them. It's weird, isn't it? It's, it, it no, it is because I have that. I have an old picture of you on my phone. I know, and I look you, fat. No, I do. In that old picture, you like, looked fat. In the like, old picture, you did. In our wedding photos, it's weird because like I've got them up on the mantle, like above the fireplace, which is by my main door, right? Mm-hmm. So every time I like leave for work, I'm like, God damn, look at how fat I am in that <laughs> photograph. And then I'm like, do, then I'm like, how much did I weigh then? Okay, how much do I weigh now? I'm like five pounds less. It's like, is that the threshold? Well, that's an it's important like, <laughs> five pounds then, because yeah, you do right. not look like you look then. No, I, no I, I, thank you. I, but it's weird that it's like, I don't that know. That last five pounds is entirely in your face and neck. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, totally. It has to be. Yeah. So I need to get back to the gym, but um, I don't know how they're doing it with like the mask mandate and stuff, you know, like mm. I'd love to be able to show because I don't, I, I wore my mask, mask, good, don't want to spread disease, uh, but I'm vaccinated. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so it's like I'd love to go to the gym and be like, "Here's my card. Am I cool Leave to me like the fuck alone. to like breathe in all these germs?" Because <laughs> I don't want to waterboard myself on a treadmill because uh, it's like it's gonna get all sweaty and wet. And... I got a treadmill in there now. You can come use. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's, <laughs> it's quite a trip. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you know what? Drive out here to run in my dusty ass garage. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thank you though. That's very kind. <laughs> I played the Dune board game. How completely was that? unrelated. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. Hmm. Yeah. I saw McElwain and uh Josh and Nicole and uh because they had like a game night over over there at their house. Mm-hmm. And uh McElwain brought Dune, like a franchise and intellectual property that I'm not super familiar with outside of the Sega Genesis game yeah. that we talked about on the show. Um it was good, man. It was um 
it was kind of just a bright length and it was like a strategic kind of uh kind of game where you each choose a faction and then those factions have like special abilities and stuff and you're constantly like warring against each other like the first to own like three cities essentially like wins the game so you're constantly like fighting over those and like there are cards that work like you can build combos and stuff out of it which is really, really that's where the fun is i think so what you're a house atrides harkonnen yeah. harkonnen the Fremen. McElwain played the harkonnen yeah uh i played the i can't remember the, uh, oh the, i played the emperor the Emperor, yeah, yeah. So there's the Emperor of Fremen and something else, another house I wasn't familiar with. Um, so yeah, Nikki played the I can't remember the name of the indigenous people, or those are the Fremen? Fremen, yep, yeah. And so, like, there becomes so when the worm shows up, uh, you can form alliances, so you can't form alliances until the worm shows up. And it's like what sucked was from the very beginning when we all chose our factions, um, when I read Nikki's, I was like, oh man, we'd be fucking perfect if we could team up because she's broke like her faction is broke Mm -hmm. they have no money but they have a lot of people and they're very mobile the emperor on the other hand rich like has a lot of money generates a lot of i'm sorry spice generates Mm -hmm. a lot of spice each Mm -hmm. turn but like starts off planet and has to like get troops to the planet so like deployment's a real pain in the ass but when you ally you can um like one of the abilities of the empire is, oh, I can pay. I can pay for your troops. So like, I can pay for the revival of your troops. I got money. To take care of it. And Nikki's on the other hand is like, uh, I can't buy anything. I can't revive my my yeah. army. So it was just like, mm, it was perfect. And then yeah. once we finally got to, once the sandworm popped up, it's like, all right, we're allying. Okay, we win. <laughs> but it, but it was close because it was like. Josh doing like Josh stuff where it's yeah. like yeah that's a good way of putting it <laughs> like, I mean seriously and it's like I did something like um, it's really cool this is where like the cards come into play because it's like he played this card on his turn that essentially like destroyed a shield generator so like there's like the sandstorm is like a mm-hmm. big part of the game too because it like at the beginning of each turn two people like choose a number between one and three and then you add those numbers up together and that's the number of spaces that like the storm swirls around the board mm. Anything, any space that it travels through, everything's destroyed. Uh, and wherever it lands, uh, everything on that space is destroyed, and people can't, like, get in or out of that space. They're kind of like, if they're in a city, they're safe. But that's, like, pretty much, like, the only safe spot. Uh, so Josh did this thing. He played this card that destroyed a shield generator, and it's like, and then he wheeled the storm through, like, six spaces that I controlled. So it was oh, just like I lost, fuck. like, two all at, all at once. Um but see, I mean, that sucked, but it's also kind of fun because it's like I found this thing where it's like there's this card where it's like if you use – if you anyone in the battle uses a shield, uh, everyone loses. Uh, you lose like your commanders. You lose your army. You lose pretty much everything. So I, com- I combined it with another card, which was like a free leader, which is like you, like there are leaders that you can assign to each battle, and it's like they are important, and they usually like – give a lot of points towards like the outcome of the battle. So I use this throwaway leader and a shield and the item where it's like, if a shield is used, everyone loses. I just sent one guy into McElwain's base of 20 people and was like, okay, I'm using this stuff. All right. We all lose, but you lose 20 and I lose one. <laughs> there so, you go. All yeah, right. It was fun. Yeah. I mean, it was like stuff like that yeah. where it's like, yeah, it gives a nice little, like a little bit of, um, Magic the Gathering feel to it, mm. where it's a combo, or it's like do, do, do this and this and this. Yeah, so that's awesome. Cool. Yeah, it's I, I watched them play a little bit of it whenever I was up there for Mac Wayne's birthday. Yeah, but yeah, I missed that, so I didn't get to. I didn't. They get were to they see were that. deep in the game, so I just just watched for a little while yeah. before we played Secret Hitler for for a minute. Yeah, yeah, we brought. Uh, well, he brought Secret Hitler as well, but we didn't play that. We just played Dune. I mean, it was good. Yeah, I'd play it again for sure. Yeah, right on. Well, you want to take some cows? Yeah, man. These are um, out of order. <laughs> also, by the way, so we pared it down from almost 150 to like a little over 50, from based on that that criteria. Yeah, and no, I think that's good criteria. I mean, because yeah, the I majority mean, of it was un un unbreakable. Unbre- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
was a call quality that just it could not. It would be it would be murder on everyone listening to yeah. some of some of the call quality. No man, I think uh, a very expensive call screener did a good job and yeah, making that call and yeah. Yeah, man, we don't want to. We don't want to kill anybody yeah. out there on the road. Yeah. Like we don't want to surprise anybody, <laughs> yeah, and they so swerve like, off the suddenly road. Suddenly, the audio is super loud, or there's a big squeal, or it's just <laughs> static, or it's somebody. From tab, my fucking tap off. We don't want to play those. Are you kidding? It sounds like gold. <laughs> I mean, we should, uh, if I, we were really committed to this show, if I were really committed to the show, what I would do now is do a hard cut. To all the horrible calls that we've actually Joe, played on oops, this show, all in the horrible past, calls. right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready? You want to do calls? You ready to do the thing? Yeah, let's do this. All right, here's a call from seven five seven. Ha 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 ha! I'm back, baby. It's Will Smith. You guys remember when I used to <laughs> that were longer than three minutes and they get cut off, and I'd have to call back. Just make everybody mad because it's another Adam call. Well, I'm back, baby. It's Woo! Adam. Man, sorry. Like right in the middle of like a sensitive and sincere moment, I totally lost track of what time it was and uh, and totally, totally got cut off. But um, hopefully you guys pick up on the gist that I'm just eternally thankful and grateful for you. And, and I don't often like to speak on behalf of the nation, um, but I'm going to take the liberty of speaking for the entire Tadpog Nation and say we are truly undeserving of everything that you do, and uh, and couldn't be uh, couldn't be more blessed by you guys. So I totally mean that. Adam, Adam, are you are you, Adam, are you there? Adam, <laughs> the, the, yeah, there he is. That smushed <laughs> together. I'm a few pissed. Okay, uh, but anyway, I love you guys. We should have stopped the call and called the police. <laughs> Our friend Adam. Our friend Adam is He's missing. <laughs> from, when uh, did you last hear from Adam? Uh, September 2020. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. Here he is. He's back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Adam. <laughs> Adam. 911. Our friend. Happy, uh, oh. Can't wait. To, <laughs> okay. uh, can't wait to talk to you again soon. All right. Bye. Bye, Bye Adam. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> well, that was nice. That was that nice. was nice. Although I'm always. sure I'm sure Tony disagrees. Tony thinks it's ju- it's just right. Which, or we should or we should give him money for him listening. Either way. Wait, know. wait. I'm know. confused. <laughs> What's just right? He said, "I'm sure I speak for the whole nation when I say everyone deeply appreciates." Like, oh. I don't know if Tony does. It's probably like, I think it's he, okay for free content. <laughs> I, I think that he appreciates it. I just think that he doesn't want to give up a dollar. <laughs> look, I mean, I get it. <laughs> like, I'm cheap too. So it's like, I get it. I get it. All right. We got another call. Uh, I think this is from What's Adam. What's up, Dad Pog? It's your well. beloved Adam. It is Saturday, April 11th. It is 11 11- April 11th, not 2021, (laughs) is my guess. In the morning, I am listening still to the Clay Fighters episode, and Dave mentions a man by the name of Dick Residue. Sorry, I didn't say that. Dick Dick Residue? Residue, I did? uh, Which is, uh, (laughs) I guess, one of the new characters in the pantheon of Tapog, but... He didn't make it. Sadly, Dick Residue, Dick Residue. Didn't, didn't make it. He didn't last. <laughs> oh, rip Dick Residue. <laughs> April 12th, 2020. <laughs> April 13th, 2020. Dave said that Dick Residue sounds like a guy that you don't want to buy a house from. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> simple, simple call for a simple boy. My question is, what would you want to buy? from dick residue all right guys can't wait to hear it love you and i'll uh call back soon have a great day bye what would be good to buy from someone named dick residue uh a strap on out of a parking lot is that because it has extra dick residue on it <laughs> or that's what i'm gonna imagine that guy's name was who tried to sell me She's that some, out of the parking yeah, lot dick residue dick probably residue. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe like he probably has like a big trauma DVD collection. Uh, so there, maybe there a couple go. of like All Toxic right. Avenger movies or something. <laughs> Samurai Cop. The complete John Waters collection. Okay. Yeah. I mean, potentially. Um, I mean, you're going to have to sanitize everything, obviously. <laughs> Uh, I have a lot of like disinfectant wipes left over mm -hmm. from um, mm -hmm. the pre-vax. Um, so yeah, I got to use that on something. <laughs> They're not Blu-rays or DVDs. Dick Residue doesn't own any. No, no, no. Yeah, nothing. All, and I, uh, I all say, standard down. <laughs> I say Blu-ray like it's a co like a current day thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have them on digits. He has like two HD DVDs. That's it. Oh man, HD DVDs. <laughs> Good lord, yeah. Man, I'm glad I didn't like go in all all in hard on, on that. Yeah, uh, but yeah. I mean, it's like fuck. I've I got a bunch of Blu-rays that it's like uh, the other day. Oh yeah, we watched Beetlejuice. I remember mentioning oh, uh -huh. this like yeah, when we yeah. recorded last episode. We watched Beetlejuice. Henry loved it. Like he clapped at the end of it, and it's like that's how you know it's like a good. It's a good he mm. that he enjoyed it. Yeah. Also, didn't wasn't playing in the middle of it. He just watched the whole thing. Did really good about the the honking the honking balls part. Uh, yeah, yep. <laughs> haven't seen him do it yet. <laughs> what he what he really like latched onto was the scene where Beetlejuice is trying to get Lydia to say his name three times, mm -hmm. and he does like the charades. Oh yeah, yeah. So like now for like the past week at bedtime, Henry's like Orange Beetle, Beetle Breakfast, because like all of her wrong <laughs> like all of her wrong guesses were just like. It's fucking solid gold to him. <laughs> so we've been doing that all week. Um, I do not remember where I was going with the story. Oh, um, that was one where it's like I owned that on Blu-ray and was like, man, I don't want to put this. I don't want to put this fucking I thing inside off, a thing. Get it out, yeah. I'm just buying on Amazon. Worry about putting it back in so oh, it doesn't get scratched. God. And then, yeah, I just put the Blu-ray in because yeah. I was like, $13 <laughs> so, or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I owned every season of Friends, but only watched it on Netflix. So yeah, because it's easy to do it there, yeah. right? I yeah. mean, yeah, and you can like save your progress and stuff, and and all that. Yep. So not as important in Beetlejuice. It's pretty easy to save your progress, <laughs> I guess. But so now that he's watched Beetlejuice, I'm going to make him play the NES game. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> he can watch Beetlejuice too whenever he finishes the the NES. Game. A Beetlejuice, what is that? Beetlejuice in Paradise or whatever? Oh, or is does there Hawaii sequel? or something like that? <laughs> that's like one that's been, I've heard that like floating around for a long time. Or like Beetlejuice goes Hawaiian or something. <laughs> it's something, dude, it's something like that. And it's like every time I hear about it, I'm like, don't let that happen, please. Yeah. Like, I see if I can get him the, the cartoon, the complete collection of the cartoon. I bet he'd like that. He probably would like that. Yeah. And then, but at the end of the movie, he was like, that wasn't scary. And I was like, you're right, but it's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like the part where the part where uh, they like where Alec Baldwin like stretches out his face to look like a like a humanoid pterodactyl mm -hmm. that wasn't scary. No, okay, all right. He had eyeballs for fingers. I know, man. It's a different. Uh, it's a YouTube era, man. Yeah. Nothing. Not these kids are unflappable. That's true. It's true. <laughs> They've seen the atrocities. They were raised on Five Nights at Freddy's. It's like oh, that, yeah, okay. right. Which is Five Nights at Freddy's is way scarier than Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, that's not a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as uh, I don't think it's as good. Some people probably disagree. Like a lot of a lot of younger people for sure. But Beetlejuice, where's that man? Mm -hmm. It's also weird seeing Alec Baldwin like not current day Alec Baldwin. Yeah, when he's like thin, fit, yeah, model Alec Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. and it's like because I kind of forgot that he was in that movie, and I was like, which one of the Baldwins is this? <laughs> I mean, I'm to be. That's Alec Baldwin. Alec? Alec? <laughs> Surely they met Alex. <laughs> That's not Alec. All right, we got another call. Thanks, Adam, for the calls. This one's from eight one seven. Horendo Taiwasama. We said she believed it was I must. The shake. Oh, Tanjobi, who made it to I must. Kotoshimo, Yoshiku, Monetashima, Shishima. All right. So Thank they, you, Jake. <laughs> so he said, uh, it's nice to meet you, Yoroshiku. Okay. Uh, that, and then a bunch of stuff I don't understand. Yeah, my, <laughs> I didn't get any of it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jake. It's, it's uh, Kochiro Koso. It's also, it likewise. It's nice to meet <laughs> you as well. Uh, next call uh, from 757. What's up, Tad Pog? This is your beloved Adam. I'm calling specifically for Tyler because All right, Tyler and back. I, I think, share 
similar uh, love languages and similar feelings and similar fears. If I had to guess, and, and I would love to hear you guys share what your love language is. Uh, I believe that Tyler's love language is either. All right. We know what our love languages are. Mm-hmm. We share the same love language. Just fucking. Yeah. Phys- sh- physical sh- touch. Physical, yeah, yep. straight up fucking. <laughs> physical touch, and then I think I'm very close with on uh, words of affirmation, and then like quality time are very close. So that leaves like what one more? What's the one that you don't? Because I, I can't there's, remember all the ones. There's acts of service and gifts. Acts of service and gifts. Oh, that's, is that one category? Or is gifts it acts- is like my bottom bottom yeah. tier thing. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Adam. Sorry. <laughs> quality time or words of affirmation that's that's what i think i am definitely a words of affirmation person and uh of course you are you beautiful uh, man i think that is tyler's (laughs) uh as well or one of them i guess dave's i would imagine is either uh physical touch or spaghettios uh acts of service (laughs) i I know that dave (laughs) probably doesn't like when people do things for him but i'm i'm sure that it fills up his love tank but I could be off, but I do think Dave probably appreciates physical touch, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Woo-hoo. But I want to call because I know at the end of that last <laughs> call, there's a possibility that Tyler said, I see how it is, Adam. You love Dave more than me because I got tagged on at the end of that conversation. But I just wanted to call and let you know that even though I would let Dave build my front porch anytime he wanted, and you know what I mean when I say that, you get you Ian to do that by now that you have <laughs> yeah. full access to my back porch. They, Dave oh, can do whatever he wants on the front porch, but Tyler, you you have full access to the back porch, the dirty so porch. I just want you guys to know you got the mud you room. Have <laughs> me. Dave, front porch. Tyler, back porch. And man, I'm just living the dream. All right. So listen, I love you guys both equally, absolutely. If I have to choose one of you to die. I would choose myself. <laughs> Don't do it, Adam. <laughs> Makes me sense, but it felt romantic. <laughs> All right, listen. I got to get out of here. I got to let this boner drop down before I get into this meeting. So I'll call you guys soon, and I love you guys so much. Really, I do. See you. Bye. Hey, Adam, welcome to the meeting. What's up with that boner? <laughs> you you didn't just call a podcast, did you? <laughs> we got numbers to meet, man. Get You're that boner. You talking about under- your front porch and back porch to some podcasts, yeah, did you? Dude, get your front porch under control, <laughs> and let's talk about how we're going to turn sales around in the Denver area, Adam. <laughs> Adam. I assume front porch is dick. Maybe it's mouth. I don't know. I bet it's mouth. I bet it's mouth. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I don't <laughs> want that dick. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, however, want that. Mouth. But I do, God, I want that mouth so bad. No, I. Uh... You remember the time we Eiffel Towered, beloved Adam? <laughs> yeah, it's true. It was a weird day. Yeah. Delightful, but delightful, weird. Delightful, but weird. Yeah. Did he have we to have his family about there? Ourselves that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He wanted to brag to his extended, full extended family. <laughs> Is it weird that it was streamed live on Facebook? <laughs> uh, love language. Yeah, physical touch, number one, followed closely by words of affirmation, and then closely after that, quality time. Then both the other acts of service and gifts were way the fuck down there. Yeah. Yep. Do you think that that's like, is the point of that, the love languages stuff, just to be able to communicate with a partner. Yep. Yeah. Like what you're right. Is like to know how they're for. going to understand. Right. That. Yeah. How they show it and how they're going to understand. Yeah. It. Yep. Yeah. Physical touch is good. Words of affirmation. Second. Good. And then I don't know. Beloved Adam says that I probably don't like it when people do things for me. That is true. Unless that is um, someone who's really close. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Someone who's really close and it's like, yeah, it's great. But if it's like, I don't know, if it's someone who's not close, I don't, it's cool. Because you know? yeah. <laughs> it's like what I'm always worried about is, hey, man, I did this nice thing for you. Well, what do I owe you for it then? Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What do you, what do you get in a couple of years when you bring this up? What am I going to have to do for you? Kind of yeah. It's like I love Ashley Shake, but it's like, hey, I'll fly you guys into Japan. No. <laughs> uh, I love you, but I don't, I feel like, I don't know, thank you. Right. Yeah, no, I was, I I'll was, see you when I can pay for it. Right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You. Yeah. And I want to go to Japan, but yeah, I'm going to, I'll pay, I'll pay for that. Yeah, <laughs> Cause that's a big, that's a big thing. Like that's thousands of dollars. Yeah. And I, I, mean, I, I know Shake a little over here be like, man, Tyler, let's go out to eat and you should eat this bug. 
I don't want to eat that bug shake. I flew, I flew you across you to oceans. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you can't just eat this bug. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so I've been caught by that a few times in my life to the point where it's like, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's like when uh, when someone's like, hey, man, do you want this thing? And I'm like, if I take this thing, do I have to read it, watch it, listen to it? Like, am I on the hook to, like, do it? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, if I am... I don't want it. I'll just like, when I want it, when I need it, I'll find it. Yep. Or when someone sends, sends us a game and then it's just like, here, do this game. Oh, man, they sent me this game. I feel like I have to do it. Right. I want to do it. Right. Hey, can I have that game back? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes, please. Here. Here it is. Goodbye. <laughs> Could take this obligation out of the hutch. <laughs> the obligation hutch. <laughs> yeah. Man, we need the it. overflowing ball pit that is the obligation <laughs> hutch. Yeah. We need that sign to go up in here. Can this no, no longer be the Holland deck? Could this be the, the obligation, obligation hutch? <laughs> That's what I'll put on the door out there. Right. Yeah. What's back there? Dude, that's nothing but obligations. That's fucking <laughs> obligations. <laughs> You can go back there. You go back there, but you have to take one, and then it's yours. Oh, man, that'd be so good. <laughs> it's like a take a penny, leave a penny. Take a penny, just take a penny. Just take a penny. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking yours, man. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm already out of order with calls. I don't know. I don't know the last one that we played. So here we go. We might have heard this one already. This looks like um, it's like maybe Beloved Adam again. What's up, Tad Paul? It's your beloved Adam. Hi. I would be remiss if I didn't call you guys today. Beloved Adam, did you just wake up? Hey, was yeah, that a hard meeting and he, he had to get to sleep? And <laughs> He's got that, that low morning voice. Sultry. Yeah, his front porch is sounding <laughs> deep. <laughs> February 16th, 2021. Because today, in fact... Is Donnie Jeffcoat's birthday? Oh, well, happy birthday, Donnie <laughs> Jeffcoat! Okay, and I would just call and celebrate with my boys. Hopefully, you guys are doing well, and I would love to hear some of your memories of wild and crazy kids. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any, I'd love for you to look up some videos together and talk about <laughs> some of the games. I know what we're doing for the rest of this podcast. Yep, <laughs> we're gonna watch videos and be like, "Hey, look at that." And not explain anything. Oh, man. <laughs> Those kids are wild yeah, and crazy. It's so wild. <laughs> if you guys would like to watch along with us while we give commentary on wild and crazy kids. And nine times out of ten, it'll be a kid with a needle on a helmet bouncing in boon, <laughs> boon like shoes balloons. to hit a balloon full <laughs> right. of cream. With, but it's got a different theme. Yeah. It's like slightly different. Oh, now they're like, doing it in medieval times. Right. Oh, yeah. that's way different than the time they really pretend to be robots. <laughs> <laughs> It's wild and crazy kids. It doesn't like have to be on a wild and crazy kids budget. You're Nickelodeon. You can. I do want one of those t-shirts though. Do they have like the, the, the reprints or I like you want an original? I mean, a reprint would be just as good as an original and much cheaper. So like just a, yeah, just a wild and crazy kids t-shirt yeah. and also a little less creepy. Yeah, like, going around on the internet like, hey man, you got one of them kid shirts? <laughs> I need an original yellow Donny Jeff coat, wild and crazy. Kids oh, you want Donny? Oh, from 1992. No, that's gonna be that's less creepy. When if you get Donny Jeff coats, <laughs> it's more creepy if you're like, hey man, I want one of those kid shirts. Does it still smell like kids? Smell like kids. <laughs> right. Twenty years later, I don't want it to smell like a kid twenty years later. Yeah, but just to, a kid twenty years ago. Do I have to sign up for this kid's OnlyFans to get his used <laughs> oh, his <God>. used shirt? <laughs> Do you see? Uh, there's like I, Duke Sithos Williams sent me a screenshot of like. Only fans like branching out and like he saw an ad on Facebook for like recipes where it's like you want to share your recipes and it's like the the image in the ad is like a dude cooking at a grill. <laughs> so I guess they're trying to like expand. I guess the you know the yeah. girls showing their Diversify buttholes isn't like making enough porn. money. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So I mean I bet it makes plenty of money, but it's like why not make more money? Why not make only grills or whatever the fuck it is. Only the, grills is pretty good. Yeah. It feels, but it feels like, I don't know, man. That feels like a weird strategy. Yeah. You know? Yep. <laughs> I, I mean, it's because it's so specific right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But anyway, good luck, OnlyFans. <laughs> Are you on Gordon Ramsay's Only Grills? Oh, fuck, shit. man. <laughs> no, I'm on Alton Brown's, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you yeah. go. You're right. <laughs> Only Browns. Only Browns, man. Yeah, dude. 
man, anytime there's like anytime I'm looking for a recipe for anything in the Google search, I include Alton, Alton Brown. Alton Brown. That just is, that is the first thing I man, you just and I, to yes. see if he has. And then, but the difference between you and me at that point is when I find it, I'm like, all right, let me send this to Nikki. Yeah. You're like, I'm gonna make this. <laughs> when I like it, I'm like. Shit, that's too. I don't have cured <laughs> lemons to make this lemonade, right. so let me find a different one. But I do feel like he does throw stuff like that in there. But it's like compared to like the other like celebrity chefs, like his stuff is the most like attainable. Yep. And, and you know it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yeah, like, like his taco be. seasoning is it's really good. Yeah. And I I fried I fried tortillas in a skillet for this man. <laughs> because oh, okay. when we were doing like um, hard shell tacos, it was like, he's like, hey man, just do your own. Just fry them. It's like, okay, I'll fry it. It was good. Neither it was right. a lot of effort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Beloved Adam continues. Or if you could make up a game for Wild and Crazy Kids, I'd love to hear that. Right. Or if you want, I'd love to hear how you would make a Wild and Crazy Kids Super Nintendo game. All right. Well, just wanted to call you guys and wish you a wonderful, happy Donnie, uh, Donnie Jeffco birthday day, and uh, just let you guys know, man, I freaking love you, and I'll uh, I'll call again soon. All right, see you guys. Bye. Happy Donnie Day. Yep. Happy Don. Happy Donnie Day. Do you have any? How are you celebrating the, the Jeffcoat Day? The Jeffcoat Day. <laughs> uh, what was his favorite food? Donnie Jeffcoat. Yeah. Does he have an OnlyFans? I hope so. I, I I remember looking up an IMDb. He did like a lot of independent Shakespeare plays after Wild and Crazy Kids. That's cool. So maybe like. But did he do yeah. them like with kids? Like it was slime involved. Shakespeare for kids. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Mac- shoes, Shakespeare on moon shoes. <laughs> Lady Macbeth with green slime on her hand. <laughs> <laughs> Out damn spots. Yeah. Uh, SNES. I mean, I'm. I'm I'm surprised, a little surprised there's not. I'm imagining a Wild and Crazy Kids would be just like like a Guts sort of game for think, Super Nintendo, where it's just the mini games that you play a different colored team. There was a Double Dare for NES, right? Yes. Yeah, I vaguely remember that, or seeing it. I don't know that I ever played it. But it's like, I'm, sit- I'm sitting here trying to think like how many Nickelodeon game shows became games. Mm-hmm. Because like I can't really name anything beyond Double Dare and Guts. Like Legends of the Hidden Temple. No. I mean, that didn't get anything. Nick, Nick Arcade. Arcade no. what, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I can't think of name beyond those. What would Wild a and Crazy Kids definitely wasn't. What would a Wild and Crazy Kids video game look like? Like Guts? You probably like you probably pick whatever team you wanted to play. Um, out of you got to pick which what host you go for. Do you do? Um, I only remember Donnie Jeffcoat. Donnie Jeffcoat, Omar Gooding. And oh, then, wow, yeah. And then they had two different girls. They had um, Annette, who I think was like uh, a Latina host, and then the the red-haired Pippi Longstocking uh, girl. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. I can do a Google search, though, and I can tell you. We, well, can, do a, we can do a quick uh, uh, murder, murder, fuck, marry. It's, it's, <laughs> it's all Donny <Donnie laughs> Jeff Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that Donnie Jeffcoat was all four hosts? <laughs> <laughs> That's his range. Yeah, yeah, he's like Eddie Murphy and the Nutty <laughs> Professor. <laughs> uh, I remember Wild and Crazy Kids. Uh, I rem- and I, I know I said this on the show years ago. Um, the big thing that I remember is when they did Real Life Space Invaders. Uh, they had like some kids like up on a tower, and then down below they had like a grid of kids like essentially doing like jumping jack motions as they moved like back and forth mm-hmm. in advance. And then they threw, you guessed it, water balloons full of slime <laughs> <laughs> at the uh, at the the space invaders yeah. down below. Medieval Times episode always stands out for me. I don't remember I don't that one. Was there jousting? Yep. How did they do that? A lance with a water balloon filled with slime on the end of it? <laughs> they had it? to get rings, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. They didn't want kids to die, as it turns out. No. Well, not really. <laughs> if, if they it, did, that's fine. If it happens, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Adam. All right. Next call. Uh, this is from Beloved Adam as well. This might be the one I just played. We'll find out. What's up, Tad Paul? It's your Beloved Adam. I feel like I've let you guys down. 
You did not. We've been in a pandemic now for four months nearly, and I've been so lax on calling you guys. I know that the amount of time I spend indoors maybe doesn't apply to how – or doesn't translate to how often I should call you, but, man, your boy feels bad because I don't feel like I've done anything. I haven't called you. I haven't checked up on you. I haven't made sure you're doing all right. I've listened to the podcast, so I know you're good things then. are going all right. But, man, I just feel like I feel like trash. I, I'm sorry, man. I As a self-proclaimed tadpoglodite, I don't feel good about it, but – I wanted to call you guys today because it's my fifth wedding anniversary, and I can't think of a better way to spend it than talking <laughs> yeah. to you guys. On than having you guys munch on my front and back porch. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary, sweetie. Come, come here, come here, Mrs. Adam. <laughs> my love language is an orgy with two men. <laughs> my love language is Eiffel Tower. Wee <laughs> wee. <laughs> That that too. Yeah. That too. Yeah. That too. <laughs> so I just want you to know that today I'm thinking about you sexually, obviously. And Clearly. uh man, I, I miss you guys and uh and I hope hope to hope to be better about calling you guys. It's just been I don't know, it's been a tough time just being motivated and energized and things, even though, you know, life is getting a little bit back to normal. I'm just making excuses now. I- I'm going to step it up. I-, I-, I don't feel like enough people hate me anymore, and uh, I-, I need to bring that back. So uh, hopefully I will be better about calling you guys. Uh, I-, I made a I made a big retro video game purchase today uh, that I, I want to share with you guys and tell you about, but I don't have much time now, so I'll – I'll give you a call after my wife and I have sex. So maybe expect a call in about two minutes. Hey, oh. All right. <laughs> Man, I freaking love you guys. And it feels good to be back. Man, I hope I call before a month from now because <laughs> I feel like a dick. I, I, I really do, and I hope that you've missed He me, had sex for a real long time. Real long time. And, Good uh, job, Sting. I really hope that you're doing well and your families are doing well also. So love you guys. Call you soon. Have a great one. Bye. Do you remember when Sting had sex for April? <laughs> <laughs> and then called us? Uh, don't feel bad, beloved Adam. No, We haven't been all. playing calls, so there hasn't really no. been a big incentive to no call. No problem. Yeah. No problem at all. Yeah, man. It's Thank all good. You. Appreciate I'll... your your love. Happy anniversary a year ago. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and last month, apparently. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Happy seventh anniversary. <laughs> all right. Next call. <sighs> What's up, Tadpog? It's your beloved Adam. It's Adam! And I smell like sex because I feel like sex. You did it! Man, I didn't make it two minutes, boys! <laughs> man, <laughs> just finished having sex for my anniversary. Yeah. Man, right before I popped off, I accidentally... Man, I'm not even going to lie. I didn't accidentally. I said, I said, Tyler. And my <laughs> wife looked at me like, what did you just say? And I said, Dave! And then I, yeet! <laughs> right in there. <laughs> so beautiful. And I'm certain that in nine months, we're going to have a little baby named Tyler David. Or David Tyler. Or maybe twins. Whoa, Shit. Twins. David Tyler Shit. and Tyler David. Oh, man. I don't care if they're boys or girls. Whatever, man. People tell me that it's 2020, and you can decide whatever you want to do and whoever you want to be. So no matter what, Tyler and Dave and David and Tyler. David David Tyler and Tyler David. <laughs> Man, I got a sex brain on right now. You know, you can't think because everything's all tingly. Woo-hoo. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go eat a sandwich and wait about seven hours and maybe try to do that again. And I promise <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about you, boy. All right. <laughs> Listen, stay sexy. Stay supple. I love you guys. Can't wait to see your dicks. Bye. <laughs> Replenish we your love you electrolytes. Too, yeah, we love you too, Adam. Thanks for it's man. It's weird that you did that because on your last call, I almost said, "Please yell out Tyler yeah. and or Dave uh, <laughs> and yeet <laughs> and yeet." Yeah, yeet that skeet all up in there. That's good. Yeet That's that skeet. Really good. Don't eat. 
Don't eat that ski. Eat, eat unless eat you know you I'm like. Th- doing oh no, that. yuck! You're you do whatever you want. Yeah. Look, I mean, I've thought about it before. <laughs> Never pulled the trigger though. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tempted to be like, no, you do it and spit it back in their mouth. Right. I was, I was, I've been tempted to be like, why don't you give me a little bit of, a bit of that? And then I was like, nah, <laughs> nah, I'm good. I've smelled it before. That might awaken something in me, and I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, man. Now yeah. I'm addicted. <laughs> what, Dave, How narcissistic would that be if I was gonna take it in my own gum? So, Dave, you haven't been to work in May. What's up, dude? I can't stop eating my cum. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you sound like that one guy from the peanut butter commercial, Aaron Burr. <laughs> Aaron Burr. I mean, so much of my cum, man, you can't even understand me. <laughs> the guy who I thought for the longest time was Steve Buscemi and then told somebody that it was, and they're like, no, it's not. I'm like, I'll show you YouTube milk commercial, Steve Buscemi. It, and that works. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, that's not him. <laughs> <laughs> Is it his son? <laughs> it's, it's that Todd? Bashimi? Steven Bashimi. Steven, yeah. Steve Ed, Steve Ed Urkel Bashimi. <laughs> Stefan. Stefan Bashimi. Bushime. Bushime. Ooh, that's good water. Yeah. Love that Bushime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adam. Wow, that took a turn. I didn't expect. <laughs> we haven't gone down roads like that in a long time. All right, next next call. What's up, Tad Pog? It's your beloved Adam thinking about you guys i am driving to a meeting right now it is almost 5 40 p.m this is like a reoccurring theme beloved adam has a meeting i'm maybe he's nervous about it and he's like how can i how can i go into this meeting long and strong i know i'll call tyler and dave call my boys i don't have time to to eat right now but I do have time to call. <laughs> On October 12th, I believe. And, uh, man, just had you guys on my mind. It is Columbus Day, and it is Indigenous People Day. So hope you boys are celebrating, or at least had off of work. No. Nope. You know. No. Nope. Just have nope. a great day. Don't enjoy. get a, Yeah. I, uh, I don't get my off wife work. and I took our daughter to a theme park here where we live, and uh, it was it's called fire. it's called Adam's Backyard. It's a good one. It's a good one. Do you get you don't get like what days do you get off from work? Saturday and Sunday. Like, yeah. Well, like what about <laughs> what about holidays? Um, Saturday and Sunday, <laughs> Christmas Day, Thanksgiving Day, Memorial Day. Labor Day, Labor presumably. Labor Day, New Year's Day. Thanksgiving. Yep. And Black Friday. Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day, New Year's Day. We get essentially the same, it sounds like. Independence Day. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah we get the same. Nikki, on the other hand, gets like all of them. So, yep. which is nice, but also like, well, I guess I'm going to work. Enjoy. Uh, Bye. Have fun. Yeah, enjoy chilling at the house. <laughs> <laughs> You're off work. I'm not. Henry's at school. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it sounds really good. Like you had to have a reservation and uh, she's seven months old, so she doesn't ride anything yet because she's a little wuss. Uh, Grow but- up. Uh, I got to ride a couple things while we walked around, and I thought about you boys because I rode in the exact seat. Okay, maybe not the exact seat, but as Donnie Jeff Coat <laughs> on the coaster <laughs> that Fabio took a bird to the face. <laughs> nice. So I was chancing destiny, hoping that uh, I always sit in that seat. Uh, since I saw the press release of him getting hit in the face with a goose or bird, or whatever it was, I always try to get in that row and sit in that seat just because I think it's hilarious that Fabio, of all people, got hit in the face of the bird. So, uh, (laughs) just bizarre. So, rode it, no birds, uh, hardly anybody on this roller coaster for obvious reasons. I've never ridden a roller coaster with a mask on, but uh, this is the year for firsts, I guess. Uh, So, just was thinking about you guys, and... uh, I'm listening to the world, world, oh, I don't remember what it's called now. World warrior, world fighter, 
World hero, maybe? World hero? World heroes. Yeah, I'm going with that. World of goo. Uh, sounds like a winner, <laughs> but um, uh, Ian is on. Wisdom Sage Ian is on, so it's a good episode to uh, just chill out and listen to, man. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well. And uh, Dave, I yeah. want you to know straight up, yeah, I would up? let you build my front porch anytime you want. I know. And you can take that any way you want. Cause I know what it means. I'll let you give it to me anyway. I'll munch on right, my gotta front go. porch. I got to go. Bye. Love yeah. you. Bye. Bye. Tyler. Ah. What? Freaking love you. Woo! Bye. <laughs> Good. Uh, was he going to a cocaine meeting? I think so. <laughs> How are we going to move all this cocaine? I know. I know somebody who knows. In our noses. Get Adam over here. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we got, we got too much supply. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you, beloved Adam. Next call. Happy birthday, my tad phone of Thank you. Ashley Shake. Thank you, Shake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Was it our birthday when he called? Probably. Okay. Or he just picked a random day and just said that. <laughs> All right. Next call. Tyler, we're so happy. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the birthday of 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 the birthday あの、幸せになってほしいよ。あと、あの、ザ・レスラーっていう映画、いつ見てくれる一緒に見てくれるもうずっと待っとるで。10年以上待っとるよ。Just realize you need. <laughs> That was like, Tyler, if you woke up one morning, if you were a girl, <laughs> if you let me fuck you, I totally would. <laughs> Thank you, Shake. Next call. What's up, daddy? It's big dog, beloved Adam. That's right. Woof, woof. I just listened to the episode <laughs> where you learn all of the cool hip lingo from the kiddos nowadays, the Patreon exclusive that was made to be a save the day recording for the podcast and the consistency for you guys. And uh, I really enjoyed it uh, for a couple reasons. One, if it was a movie, uh, the script would read, Two middle-aged men, well, mid-30s men, uh, attempt to infiltrate the high school system in a suburb of uh, Louisiana. And they learn the lingo from one of the hip, cool kids in town. Will Tyler and Dave find a date to prom, or will they get screwed doing something else? I don't. I lost it. I, I was, I was <laughs> on a good track with that, guys. I didn't write any of that. How down, do you do, my fellow I, kids? I lost it, so. Very Bashimi heavy Sorry. podcast is good. He white what? Very Bashimi heavy podcast so far. Oh good. man, good. I thought you said he has a podcast, and I was like, we got to stop recording we gotta, now. Sorry, we got to listen to yeah, we gotta I gotta, listen to that in real time. Yeah, I got to get caught up on that because I would totally <laughs> listen to that. I want to know what's up with him. You know, it's true. What does he What does he think about Donnie Jeffcoat? That's what I need to know. <laughs> get to the bottom of this shit. Or is that kid in that milk commercial his son? Oh God. Uh, but I wanted to weigh in on one of the things that you talked about because I'm sure other people have weighed in on this exact topic, but you guys are talking about door knocking. Beloved Adam, you're our only listener, as is evidenced by this episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so no one else has weighed in on whatever you're about to weigh in on. It's just you, baby. And uh, Dave had an idea that, you know, when you fart, if you say doorknob, you have to say doorknob before someone else hits you. And Tyler's was, if someone says doorknob, they incessantly hit you until you get to the doorknob. The way we played it in my suburb out here in Virginia, uh, we played that if you farted and said the word safety, that means you're clear. Yeah. If you fart and don't call safety and somebody calls doorknob, you have to get up and touch a doorknob as people are hitting you. So, the word safety was, was clear for us that safety, uh, that was your ticket to not get punched. And it was also your ticket to let people in the room know that you just farted, even if they didn't hear it. Because, you know, that usually made people get all queasy and squeamy and, and all that stuff. So really great episode. I think the very best part of the episode is every single time you guys got something correct, she said, yeah. 
And the way that <laughs> the su- she said it surprise. was, oh my gosh, these old dudes knew it. <laughs> and I love it. It was so pure and instant and perfect. It was great. Great episode. Uh, fantastic. And I uh, was so glad that you guys were able to bring that to the main audience. And uh, that being said, if you are listening to this phone call by some happenstance and it's not on a Patreon exclusive, man, jump on and donate a dollar to these guys on patreon.com slash tadpaws. Love you. Bye. Thank you, Adam. Thanks for the plug, Adam. It's good shit. It's good shit. Uh, the best way, the safest way to play doorknob is that when you fart, you do it so hard that you shit yourself, uh, and then no one wants to touch you. Yep. Or be around you. Yep. You're safe. <laughs> That's, you are very safe. Yeah. That's how us Gen X kids uh, survive. We just <laughs> shat ourselves all the time. <laughs> I'm I not think a, you're I'm a not, millennial. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm at a cutoff. I'm you're like the eldest of millennials. Yeah, right. Yeah, we talked about that last mm-hmm. episode. Me and uh, that comedian whose name I can't remember, Eliza uh, Schlesinger. Schlesinger. Yeah, we did it. All right, next call. What's up, Tad Paul? It's your beloved Adam. Hi. I have a problem. I've never admitted it to anyone before, but I want to tell you boys. Right Tad Paul Guidus. I suffer from. Premature collation. <laughs> so I was about to say, my last call was a question about your favorite root beers, and I wanted you to rank them, put them in order from top to bottom in cans. And- yeah, these are out of order. Sorry, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to ranking the root beers. The second that I hung up the phone and turned the podcast back on, Tyler says, "I'm a Barks man," and Dave said, "Over mug," and Tyler said, "Yes." What about IBC? Tyler said, that's like you're just paying for a fancy bottle. Yeah. So You're not wrong. If I would have just waited three seconds longer, if I could have just edged <laughs> out three more seconds of that, <laughs> that conversation, I might not have just blown my question load right there on the call. So, man, I apologize. I do. So, Barks over Mug. I think I like Mug over Bark, but uh, I'm going to buy some of those soon and test them so that I can give you a definitive answer because Please. I, I definitely trust Tyler's taste. Uh, although they may be obtained by buttholes, I don't know. Mm, uh, yeah, mm. I like root beer either way. Except Dab's root beer is at the bottom of the list, one hundred percent. If they even still make that, it's garbage. Put it in the can. Dad's, Gar- Dad's, Dad's root, root beer? beer is that not your not your dad's root beer? Is that what he means? Or is there a different? Oh, like, like the hard root beer? Yeah, which is not very good. It's not super great, yeah. no. But is would you put that in the category as? You can't put that in the same category. I wouldn't. That's Root beer is a drink. soft drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's yeah. non-alcoholic. Yeah. What about a sarsaparilla? I don't know that I've had a pure sarsaparilla. Yeah, I think they had some at like Midtown Market that I tried mm-hmm. once because someone was I'll like, try it. "They're really good," and it's like, "Yeah, eh, it wasn't bad." <laughs> I just it, got done playing New Vegas. I'll have, I'll have right. a sunset sarsaparilla. It wasn't worth the you know twenty dollars <laughs> that Midtown Market <laughs> wanted for a bottle, but yep. it was pretty okay. Yep. <laughs> garbage can that is put the can in the garbage can all right anyway sorry i still want to hear your question of if you made all of the cans that are root beer party members in your jrpg let me hear it all right i love you guys thanks for bearing oops sorry that was my bad but it seemed like it was wrapping up we love you too sorry (laughs) (laughs) so all the what sodas would be who in our jrpg party i believe that was the question yeah all right. So let's. The obvious thing is, mug is non caffeinated root beer. Yep. So this is going to be the lowest energy party or, or job in the game, which is probably going to be. Geomancer? Maybe. I don't yeah. know. I was, hoping, I was hoping that'd be real easy. Turns out it wasn't. <laughs> What's the laziest? Like, what is the. the... Mimic. Mimic, yeah. yeah. No, I think that's I think that's dead on. Or that's diet root beer. Nice, yeah. Because trying, yeah, that's diet root beer. Yeah. I love that fucking. I love that angle though. I think Barks Barks is caffeinated, so I guess Barks has to be your black mage. It's the only one that has caffeine. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, cream, just root beers, just root beers. Um, <laughs> Mug might be like Warrior or something because it's like non-caffeinated, so it's just kind of like big and slow. Mm-hmm. And um, no one really wants it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like no one really wants warrior, right? It's like well, I want paladin or 
Dark Knight. A little more or, flavor. Yeah, something that's a yeah. little, yeah. Maybe, no, fuck, man, maybe Warrior's just water. <laughs> it's like you forgot to put syrup in this root beer. <laughs> just have water. Your clear root beer here tastes kind of funny. Or maybe it's monk because monk is like purity of body. Doesn't want. Doesn't want water. Yeah, monk is. <laughs> if we're just okay, if we're just doing beverages, monk. Yeah, monk is water. It does open things up quite yeah, a bit. Yeah. What about IBC? Then surge is your black mage. Yeah. Yeah, monster is just the monsters that you fight. Milk, in the milk game. is your white mage. Yeah. Mo- oh, monster's blue mage because it's all monster it's abilities. All monsters. Fuck, man, we're done. <laughs> we're done. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. So, who would be the Coke and Pepsi? Would that be Paladin Dark Knight? Yeah, <laughs> you're ex- exactly right. Or they're both they're both dark and darker <laughs> nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like what would be a good um what soda would be paladin? Uh Sprite. Sprite? Okay, I can roll with that. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. I'm trying Diet to go, Sprite? That's like a good Sprite yeah. Zero. Sprite Zero. I'm trying to think of a good what soda that's like sort of good, like good for you. Well, a soda that's good for well, you? That's, that's not the least the least bad for you. Did you hear a cannon fire off yep. just now? Yep. <laughs> Me too. Are we in danger? <laughs> Uh, she's probably just a Civil War reenactor. <laughs> wow. Um, here in the Obligation Hutch, we're under attack. Yeah. <laughs> we're under, By obligation. Yeah, we're under repeated fire. <laughs> Send help immediately. Who in the RC Cola of the uh, Final Fantasy JRPG party be? Whatever Gao is. Bar- yeah, there you Because <laughs> Gao looks like, if you put all the Final Fantasy VI characters, like, give all the, just show me all the portraits and be like, which one of these drinks RC Cola? Probably Gao. Probably the, <laughs> the little kid in skin. <laughs> the feral boy. <laughs> yeah, probably that one. <laughs> Would Four Loco be Gao's dad? <laughs> <laughs> Original, like, Alcohol and caffeine, <laughs> Red Bull. Not Red Bull, Four Loco. But I say now I'm just thinking about what Final Fantasy VI character is what soda. Oh, well, yeah, let's do that. So Edgar and Saban are Coke and Pepsi. Oh, do you think? Because it's like Coke and Pepsi are like rivals, and they're not really rivals. I mean, they were who was going to take over, who was going to rule. I don't Edgar's think... king. I think Coke is king. But is that how you took it from the story? I didn't take it that way. I took mm-hmm. it where it's like no one, neither of them really wanted it, but Edgar was like, I'll do it. Because yeah. Saban really I'm gonna, clearly I'm gonna doesn't want to do it. I'm going to cheat because you suck at this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, all, that's how I took it. Yeah. I don't know if that's, now I'm starting to question, like, is that how it was? I thought he, I always thought Edgar did it out of love for, for his brother. I could I could see that, and I could also see Edgar wanting it, yeah, and, and cheating so he would be king. Yeah, I could see that too. I guess I don't know. I like it better my way because I like Edgar. He is, he is a womanizer, <laughs> but yeah. Well, it's just because he's James Bond is a womanizer. People love him. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. Edgar Edgar can have a a, a little <laughs> a little abusive traits <laughs> as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and then. Um, so is Umaro is Jägermeister. <laughs> oh, so we're just doing any beverage. Any beverage. Umaro, yeah, Umaro, that's that that tracks cuz I like to keep Jäger in the freezer. It doesn't it doesn't freeze, you know. Yep. I guess no alcohol really does, but Gogo is a graveyard. Yeah, Gogo is a graveyard. I asked Henry about that the other day cuz he punched all the buttons on his lid where it's mm-hmm. like derp and rub and yeah. all that. And I was like, oh, dude, did you make a graveyard? And he's like, what? <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, you have you, you don't play T-ball. You don't know about graveyards. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. Realm? Urgh, what's, a, what's a little kid drink? A draw about Based around drawing and art. <laughs> <laughs> but with the most powerful magic in the game, oddly enough. Yeah, the glitchiest. What's the glitchiest soda out there or, or beverage out there? This feels like it's always absinthe. changing. Absinthe. absinthe? That's okay. kind of like, that's not a kid drink, but uh, that's... Strago. Strago is absinthe. <laughs> Stray, I think Strago's monster. Monster. You're Straight right. Up. You're right. Ooh. Well, if you're looking for a little kid... What Realm are, could be like cotton... What's, what soda has a cotton candy or some shit? Oh, yeah. Jones. I, Jones. Yeah. yeah. Realm is Jones soda. 
a cotton candy and green apple Jones. So what about Celeste with her runic ability? What soda absorbs other sodas? Maybe, maybe, okay. <laughs> well, our, our, At re- our, our realm and Terra instead Coke and Pepsi. Uh, that I can, yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. Like uh, Terra is Coke. Terra's Coke, yeah, come and on. And then Celeste is Pepsi who was manufactured after the fact. Yeah. Yeah. Terra's Coke, S performs New Coke. There we yeah. go. Because <laughs> you're like, I mean, it's there. D- yep. Don't like it as much as original, it, it's, Terra. It's going to go away pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I never, like, up until I started doing, like, the Worlds Collide randomizer, I never fucked with Terra's, like, morph ability. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Is it good? It for for the randomizer it seems to be yeah for worlds collide just that because makes sense. you need right. you didn't need more you didn't need morph when everyone had Ultima there was right. no point in it right but uh, she gets like one attack in and it's like it doesn't seem like it's even for that worlds great. collide it's uh, it's very situational you don't usually have enough random battles to really build up a big bank of it yeah um in the regular game if you just don't use Ultima it's good because then you can really crank up a fire three to do all nines right. with morph or a cure three that's gonna be like a mega, you know, an X potion for the whole party. So it it can be. And she hits harder and things like that when she's when she's morphed. I'm definitely using morph wrong. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Absolutely. Because whenever I use morph I just do like a physical attack. Oh yeah. I mean you can I d I I think the main focus on it is just that her magic in a morph is like Empowered. Cool. I didn't. I didn't know that. I didn't play. I mean, I like Tara, but I. She was. I always like the joke characters better. Yep. <laughs> like I mean, like yep. I'm all about Mog and Umaro, and <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm all. I'm on that train. Shit, or is Mog Joan soda? Uh, Mog. What's a dancing soda? Uh, what's a cute dancing soda? Is it like, or is it a one of the weird, like I say, weird one of the unfamiliar Japanese sodas, like? That fancy thirteen lemongrass soda that we have in there, probably that's mog. Yeah, probably that makes sense. Sabin's the full Thanksgiving Day <laughs> Jones soda. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. What he is. Or or is is Sabin like uh um like it's always sunny in Philadelphia? Fight milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, all right. he's a protein drink or something. Right. Or something Thunder like Muscle. That. Thunder Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Fight milk, man. I love that. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a minute. Always Sunny is like one of those shows that it's like I can always rewatch because like I really enjoy it, but like I don't really remember a lot of the stuff from it, mm-hmm. which is I don't know why that's the case, but it's like whenever I rewatch it, a lot of it feels new to me again. I guess it's just because I don't, I don't know. I don't know the reason behind it. Yeah. Like Seinfeld and stuff. Maybe because I watched it when I was younger, it like gelled in my mind. Mm-hmm. Always Sunny is just like, yes, I love this. It's hilarious, but it like just doesn't doesn't sink doesn't in. embed. Yeah. yeah, unless it's Danny DeVito being yeah. birthed from a couch. <laughs> yeah. In which case, it's like that'll do it. Shaking trick. a turd out of his pant leg. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about Locke? What soda is Locke? Like a soda that soda that's good and misunderstood. Um, Locks like a rum and coke because it's like they got the treasure hunter, like the rum, you got the rum stuff going on. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, I guess Edgar's like wine, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Yeah. being king and everything. Yep. Or it could be the blood of his nephew. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Shadow. Uh, Shadow is the absence of soda. Oh, she, an empty glass. <laughs> right? Yeah, an empty glass. Full I, dr- of... I drink all of my beverage. Yeah. <laughs> it's a glass full of nickels. <laughs> <laughs> Interceptor. Yeah. Yeah, an empty glass and an empty dog bowl. Um, who else? Cyan. It's a very. Cyan is like scotch. I was thinking Cyan's like uh, sake. Saki, that's per, oh, maybe a little too on the nose. Ah, I think that's good. I think right. That's good. Okay. That's good and traditional. I think you meant Mr. Thou. Mr. Thou, you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should name him Mr. Thou going forward whenever I play. And, and Strago being monster. Mm-hmm. Realm is Cotton Candy Jones. Did we get them all? Is that everybody? Adlai Stevenson uh-huh. was the graveyard. Yep. We got tomorrow. Got Mog. All right, that's it. I think we're good. Okay. Who's Ultros? Oh, 
shit. <laughs> Uh, Whatever the purple drink is in that Sunny D commercial. It's like a, oh, uh, he's a uh, LaCroix. Oh, <laughs> squid ink flavored LaCroix. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I feel like that was good. Yeah. That yeah, was yeah, good. Yeah, that was good. That was good. All right. If you don't know Final Fantasy VI, you probably did not probably enjoy the last enjoy 15 minutes. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, next call, unless it's the one I just played. I don't know. Yo, what's up, Tad Fog? It's your beloved Adam. I'm on a speakerphone right now, so if my call quality is not top notch, you I made apologize. it. You made it. It's all right. That is one thing that I like to pride myself on: is clear and crisp call quality. Yeah, baby. And yes, I spelled quality with C in that sentence to keep the alliteration. Yeah, strong. man. <laughs> Yo, listen. I'm driving home from dropping my friend Jason off at work. It is 11:04 p.m. All right, anybody, uh, beloved Adam, we need to know what kind of phone you have mm-hmm. so that we can let everybody know if you're going to call us that's from your the car. Official Tadpog car that's the Yeah, that's the phone that you need. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the one that beloved Adam has. Yeah. So you're driven on speakerphone and it still sounds I know, right. it sounds good. Real good. Yeah. You know, because speaking out of his front porch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the calls that he sends where he's speaking out of his back porch, uh, unintelligible. Door knob. <laughs> I'm right now on December 29th, and I'm listening to the Football Fever episode. And I want to play a game with you uh, that I would love it to become a segment that you and I do through the phone, but I don't want to make any promises that I can't keep. So if it happens again, fantastic. If not, we had tonight. Essentially, beloved Adam. We forgot Setzer. Oh, fuck. We did forget Setzer. Mm-hmm. Um, what's a common drink at a casino? Gin, gin and tonic? Works for me. Okay. Yeah. It's a margarita glass just full of orange, uh, green olives. Orange <laughs> olives? Don't eat those, Setzer. <laughs> Oranges and olives. Oranges and <laughs> olives. They go great. The great taste goes great together. A good salty orange. Yeah. You know what I love on a pizza? Oranges and green olives. <laughs> 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 let's, let's lay down our swords and shields about pineapple. Let's really get to the root of it. Oranges and green well, olives. Or a base of mayonnaise. Oh, of course, naturally. <laughs> <And> blue cheese. <laughs> Tyler said something about a pair of underwear that he bought for himself from Victoria's Secret, and he called it an $80 dick show. So the game is... I don't, that, that was I don't my... That. Um, for Christmas, I received a Me Undies... Oh, right. Um, pair of uh, pajama pants that were, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that now. Can't, can't... I, I don't wear them. I don't wear them at home, like, at all. Like, I'll wear them... If in the bedroom, if I'm not leaving the bedroom, yeah, but that's it. Yeah, you're not putting on a show. Yeah, no, yeah. no, yeah. You boys have started an offshoot. I still walk around naked. I don't know when that's going to stop <laughs> or if it's going to. Like, because right. like at this point, Henry is just you don't have three stepdaughters, so it's totally okay. It's just no, it's <laughs> like normal for him to like just see. Oh well, Dad's going to the I guess the shower because he's naked and walking <laughs> to the house. <laughs> <laughs> podcast called $80 Dick Show. Pitch me your new podcast and why we should listen. Titled $80 Dick Show. Would love to hear it. Can't wait to uh, listen to you guys discuss. When Tyler said that, I thought that's the greatest sentence I've heard all day. So uh, I wanted to hear more from you guys about that. Not my wife saying, I love you, Adam. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> not your child saying daddy daddy no nope. $80, $80 dick show, dick show. <laughs> i'm gonna i mean 80 dollar dick show that's our podcast about uh where we review cam boys on stream mate we spend 80 dollars per episode yeah. just to see how much how, how much the, the dick quality of the we dick can, shows we can yeah. see <laughs> or it's one of those where it's like you have 80 dollars to spend how many dicks can you get mm-hmm you could spend it that way too. It reminds me of a dude like a long time ago. A show that I wanted to do was it's a podcast where every episode you pitch an idea for a podcast. Um, and eighty dollar eighty dollar dick show. That's I mean, I, I wouldn't listen to it, but other people might. <laughs> they might. Yeah. yeah. If they get eighty dollars, want to see some dicks? Well, you don't get to see it. It's the kind of the problem. But you'll know where to spend your eighty dollars. Well, oh, I see. So you're like, it's like a review system it where be. it's like Tall Boy eighty four. 
uh, he's got the goods. Yep. His stuff is pricey. You're going to spend all $80 in one spot, but you won't regret it. There you go. $80 dick show. It'll last you at least one month. <laughs> yeah. So much dick. <laughs> all dick, no show. All dick, no show. <laughs> $80, no dick, no show. <laughs> Uh, maybe in the future, if you say some other things that make me think of a cool <laughs> podcast title, <I'll> just... <laughs> we'll get to work. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to work. We're we're working around the clock, Adam, for your for your bet on the show. We're doing it. But again, but if not, again, like I said, we always head tonight. All right, boys, I'm gonna head off here and uh, get home and uh, hit the sack, uh, and then I'll probably go to sleep after that. So, all right, see you later. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Adam. What Thank you. Me? Thank you. Next call. What's up, Tad Pog? It's your beloved Adam. It's Adam. Seven thirty-three on October fifteenth. My family and I just got it's back. It's the day after home. my birthday, beloved Adam. Oh. No happy birthday. What the fuck, <laughs> man? Jeff Coke, it's a happy birthday. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly, man. What, <laughs> what do I, look, I know I don't host Wild and Crazy Kids. I only co-host Tad Pog. But come on, man. He's gonna say happy birthday in here. We're just Probably yeah. Will. He's gonna he's Probably gonna will. yeah. He's gonna if he doesn't, I'm gonna be like. Then we're gonna call him immediately. Real, and say, what the fuck, Adam? <laughs> real fucking sad. Pumpkin patch, just doing what small three person families do this time of year. But I am finishing up the Jeopardy episode, and you guys are talking about one of your new Patreon donors, or maybe even executive producer. I can't remember. But you're talking about how. Uh, this person is into tabletop games, and uh, David made a comment about here it comes. How Happy he birthday! That he enjoyed the, the ah, longer section shit. about not yet something or another. I, you know, here's the point. I was thinking about it, and I just wanted you guys to hear from me that I like every single episode of Tad Talk, whether I've played the game, know the game, love the game, hate the game, care about the game, or whether it's about a game or not. I've never skipped an episode of Tad Pog, and I've never left an episode saying, uh, that one kind of sucked. I'm not being, I'm not trying to blow smoke up your butt, but I but happy birthday day. It from me because I don't think I tell you guys <laughs> enough, and maybe other people don't either. No matter what you guys put out, I'm here for it, and I'm interested in it, and I'm excited by it. Again, even if I've never even heard of the game or played it. So I just wanted you to know. I love every episode of Tad Pog. Thank I you. Have, I always will. Thank you. Here it is. Here it comes. A lot, a lot, a lot of people feel the same <laughs> way. So if you're ever curious, if we are interested in what you're doing, man, we are. All right. You but... could easily have a whole podcast about absolutely nothing. Get to the birthday, oh, Adam. Happy birthday, birthday Dave. Of video here game is. podcast. And I'd be here every single time. Here, okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. So. I love you guys. I just love you too, Adam. Here it is. I don't think I'll tell you that enough. I don't know if anybody else does either, but I uh, appreciate what you guys do. You're welcome. And, uh, Here it is. We've got five seconds left. From you. And I uh, love you guys so much. Really do. And uh, my PP Here. goes boing, 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 just for you. Happy, bur- happy birthday, Dave. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> man, Adam, I don't even know where to begin. Who are end, you? Man. It's like you don't even know us. <laughs> Happy birthday. It's just two it's just two simple <laughs> words. Jeez. Birthday denier, Adam Long. Jeez. I need extra access to the front uh. porch after that. <laughs> That's like me calling you on July 3rd and not saying anything. I'm sure you do know when my birthday is. <laughs> July the 3th. <three. laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Adam. Next call. What's up, Tad Paul? It's your beloved Adam. Birthday Hope denier. You're doing well. Uh, I am calling <laughs> still in the middle of the coronavirus <laughs> thing. Oh, uh, where I guess, uh, at least where we're at, phase one is opening back up. Things are opening a little bit more here. Um, but uh, it is May 26th. My daughter is three months old today, and uh, I thought, what better way to celebrate that than call him my favorite daddy with an I and a Z. I love you guys so much. I'm listening to the Micro Machines episode. Dang, I missed an opportunity to call and uh, do a voicemail as fast as I can. Do maybe, it now. Maybe I'll do that next time. Yeah. But uh, you guys are talking about Meerkat Manor, and uh, I just wanted to let you know, when I first moved back home around 2013, I took a job as a substitute teacher 
uh, just kind of in between jobs and things and uh, ended up substituting in a classroom for special education, which made me kind of nervous because I don't have any training in that. I'm not really sure uh, how to best serve that classroom. But uh, when I got in there, a boy came up to me and he said, uh, Mr. Long, I think that while we work today, it would be best if we watched Animal Planet and that would help <laughs> us all concentrate. And I thought any other classroom, I think this kid was BS than me. Uh, but I looked at him and I was like, let's do it. What's on Animal Planet? And he said, Meerkat Manor. <laughs> like, yeah. And he went back and sat down. And that class for the rest of the day was super quiet. And we watched Meerkat Manor for about eight hours. And I got paid. And it was amazing. Yeah, dude. So, uh, <laughs> Tyler, I'm with you. I love Meerkat it's Manor. Good show. And Rocket Dog is my favorite. That dude so fast. Rocket Dog. Rocket Dog. That must have been one I'm not familiar with. Rocket Dog. Rocket Dog. Man. They all had they all had interesting names. Rocket Dog's pretty good. Pretty good for a uh, for a meerkat. Yeah, man, <laughs> for a meerkat you're doing better than me. Or for a gnome. My name's Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no one's impressed by that. <laughs> Everyone's just like, that's probably a white guy. <laughs> Rocket yep. Dog, you'd be any fucking thing. A rocket or dog? A mirror cat? A mirror cat? A mirror cat. <laughs> yeah. That's what I call them now. Because <laughs> every time I hear Meerkat Manor, I think Mirror Cat Manor, where it's just a house made out of mirrors. They just put cats. A cat that in wandered in the planet of mirrors and now has an evil clone trying right. to kill it. And there's yeah. one laser pointer, and that's like the, the ruler of the it's planet. Bouncing everywhere. Right. Thank you, Adam. Oh, there's more. There's more. Turn around. I love it. Uh, but uh, thank you guys for just continuing to do what you do and uh, giving us a bright, uh, sunny thing to listen to during this uh, You're welcome. weird time. Happy birthday, Dave. Just drove past a girl outside of her house, probably age seven. She has three mixing bowls outside, and she is throwing <laughs> a beanbag into them as though she is on an old episode of Bozo the Clown. Nice. Uh, that's how bleak things are right now <laughs> in our world. So thank you guys. This is America. <laughs> this uh, is America. Here and go see my fam. And, Happy birthday, uh, Dave. Here it is. I'll uh, keep Sorry it. I forgot <laughs> your birthday. Work today. I love you so much, and uh, we'll talk soon. See you guys. Bye. Is that a sad Morkborg, like a girl outside a gas mask throwing beanbags into three bowls? Uh... Hey, that's like a light day in Morkborg. Yeah. <laughs> Actual Morkborg would be like, oh, she threw the beanbag in there and then went to get it and uh, drowned in the bowl somehow. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter because the world's going to end. The beanbag like was her mother's breast. Th that is actually, actually pretty. Yeah. She opens the beanbag and inside are uh, spiders. <laughs> <laughs> That when they bite you, uh, you turn into a spider, and the only way to stop it is you don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Next call. Hey, Tyler and Dave. Hey. This is uh, Brooks. Brooks. Um, beloved Indiana. Anyway, uh, just uh, giving you guys a, uh, it was a bit of a coincidence for me. I was listening to the prehistoric man with uh, Ryan. A lot of talk about buttholes on that episode. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, as it turns out, today I had a doctor's appointment, and everything was going fine. You know, talk about my, uh, you know, blood sugar, blood pressure, and every and cholesterol and stuff like that. Back porch. You know, we go through the physical examination. We get to the end of that, and all of a sudden he says, "Well, turn around, bend over the bed." I'm like, "What?" Uh, yeah, we're going to check the prostate. I'm like, what? Uh, it says here on your insurance card uh, that I'm allowed to do this. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, and you have to give me $20 for it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to kiss me on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite episodes of, of Louie, whenever he does that show with the cop. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just like a kiss on the mouth. <laughs> right. Just, thank you. No one ever thanks me. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, today I had that done. Uh, did you come? Was... Yeah, did you come or what? <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen American Pie too. Wow, yeah, I have. It's been a real long time. Does he like moan when it goes in? Yeah. Cause, oh. cause that's a man, I'm going to be like harder, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to like grind up into it. I'm going to throw it back. You can do the anime. Oh. Yeah, out of, out of. Start, yeah, start throwing it back. <laughs> God, that'd be good. Mm. 
You call that a dick? Oh, <laughs> you don't. It's your come finger. On, come on, get that prostate. <laughs> Jack it. You haven't pressed my cum button yet. <laughs> <laughs> down, down a little bit. What the fuck's wrong with you, Doc? <laughs> I thought you understood the human anatomy. <laughs> no, that's so good. The patient who starts throwing it back. It's really good. It's... Look, the o- Doc, the only way this is going to work for me is if you simultaneously milk me. Are you prepared to do that? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going to produce a lot, okay? Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> like a lot. You're going to be alarmed. <laughs> Have you seen that milk commercial where the guy says Aaron Burr? <laughs> yeah, the one with little Steve Buscemi? <laughs> okay, here's what I'd love to commission. And I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to pay for it if someone will do it. I want Muppet Babies, but all of the Muppet Babies are actually Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> What deep fakes of all the Muppet yes, movies? Yes, yes, I do. And it's Steve Buscemi from different movies, too. Oh, so it's like, right. yeah. Like like Miss Piggy, Steve Buscemi is like him from Reservoir Dogs. Um, Animal is him from, um, oh shit, like Billy Madison, where he's the street guy with eyes going two different directions. Yeah, is that, which one is that? No, Billy Madison's the one where he's like, the the killer, right? Who has oh, you're the right, list? You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah which yeah. would totally work for Animal <laughs> as well. Okay, if we were to recast Final Fantasy VI, but exclusively Is... characters that Steve Buscemi has played, <laughs> who would who be? Let's go. <laughs> all right. All right. That'll be our next. Well, episode. Setzer is Steve Buscemi from Boardwalk Empire. Oh fuck! You're yeah, right. It's yeah, so good. Yeah. Who's the fighting Steve Buscemi? Who's saving? <laughs> <laughs> the fighting Steve Buscemi. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be Reservoir. Is that Reservoir Dogs then? That's his most actionable one? I guess. He mainly just complains. <laughs> <laughs> and complains and doesn't tip. <laughs> yeah. So probably Shadow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, I don't know which Steve... Was he ever a dog in a movie? He probably was. I hope so. Because <laughs> he could so. be Interceptor. Rolf. Yeah. Rolf Interceptor. <laughs> All right. Well, these will come- we'll sprinkle these in as we go. Brooks continues. Uncomfortable. I was not in any way, shape, or form prepared for that. Um, <laughs> you wash your asshole. Yeah. I, I know that. I've yeah. done that. With female doctors. Yeah. I'm not sure you want to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess the good news is that it was fine, but, like, the prostate itself, not necessarily him getting a finger in <laughs> the act mouth, of it was, it was fine I'm not into that so <laughs> i thought that was relevant to what i listened to today might not be relevant whenever you guys hear this it's but, always hey, relevant and the breaks anyway uh just i guess i will talk to you guys later i'm kind of at a loss of words yeah. because <laughs> i have a finger in my ass i get it congratulations I anyway later do you think the doctor spit on it first? I hope so. <laughs> Push his head down into the into the the bench. <laughs> Thanks, Brooks. Good to hear from you. Get up on your knees. There you go. <laughs> down a little bit. <laughs> uh, we got another call. This is from uh, seven five seven. What's up, Tad? I Paul? knew it. Twenty <laughs> twenty. I've been a sack of crap, guys. I haven't called in a while. Yeah. He feels bad he didn't wish me happy birthday. Yeah, you should. Killing me, man. I hate to say, oh, I'm busy, but like, because I'm not that busy, you know. We've had family and friends in town for Christmas. We've got a baby coming at the end of February, so we're just trying to run around figuring out, you know, what color to paint we're the Benjamin, room. We're Benjamin buttoning this because he know. has a seven-month-old, a three-month-old, <laughs> and I'm about to have a baby. <laughs> What stuff we need, you know, just you guys know all the all the things. Uh, and I've just been slacking on giving you guys a call. I've been listening. I just haven't been calling. So uh, I'm going to try to try to get back on the call train and, and get back in there. But uh, I'm listening to the, the Battle Blaze episode. I think it's I think it's what I'm on right Battle Blaze. And uh, mm-hmm. I don't have any, like thoughts. For, oh, I should ask them this question until today. So thank you, Dave, for uh, eating Here it comes. some uh, less than satisfactory movies <laughs> the other night after your full sleeve of nope. full teens, you freaking animal, you. Uh, I wanted to ask, 
two questions, really. Do you remember when Wendy's had the most garbage fries ever? Mm, because lately, I like the old I don't ones. Know how many years? Wendy's like redid their fries. Yeah, the and, sea salt. They're good now. Yeah, they're good they now. Used to be big, kind of square, blocky, super yeah. white fries. Yeah, I like that those. Were really potatoey. Now, if you got one, like right after they cooked them, they were pretty good. Yeah, they weren't as good as like middle of the road McDonald's fries, even uh... at their best. But uh, when they were cold. Oh, it was awful. It was almost as if, like, you had just gotten a thawed french fry from a frozen food bag, you know, at the grocery store. Well, uh, well. So, so <laughs> yeah, so it is. Well. it is. Twofold here. I guess I have three questions. Man, I'm not starting off this year real well. It's all right. New Year, Question New Year. Is, we got this, what is baby. The very best french fry when it's hot. Let's just do fast food because I, I don't know certain restaurants that are different places, but. Best fast food French fry when it is fresh, bar none. And then what is the worst fry when it is, like, room temp or below? I'll think about it and call you back with my fave. I want to hear what you boys have to say about the French fries. I love you. I love you so much. Bye. Good question. Hmm. Best fast food French fry when it is hot, at its hottest. I'm going to come out with a controversial statement because that's typically, I feel like, a good way to start conversations. Mm -hmm. Um, But 9-11 was an inside job. (laughs) 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 Um, Zaxby's has really good. I love crinkle cut fries. Zaxby's has really good crinkle cut fries. They're seasoned a little bit. I'm not 100. Arby's has some good crinkle cut fries. I've heard that. I haven't Mm -hmm. got. I haven't tried that. I need. I need to do that. Made me happy. Made me very. Because I do. I love a crinkle cut. When uh, Burger King had their satisfies, fries. those are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Not as good as the. Not as good as Zaxby's. I'm telling you, hmm. Zaxby's their crinkle cut fries, real good. I was going to say just hamburgers, but they don't do crinkle cut fries anymore. No, I hate their fries. I know their fries are fucking gen- generic bullshit Cisco fries, and I fucking hate them now. Fucking hate them now. It's, yeah. I mean, I don't hate them, but it's I a, definitely miss the crinkle cut fries. It's a much cheaper product they yeah. switch to. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Um, McDonald's fries, very good hot, I think. Yep. I mean, very good hot. Uh, I, I like the old Wendy's fries. I think the new fries. I don't really even remember. They're, I mean, they're the way he described them. Maybe I, rem, maybe I fondly remember them because we had them so much. Like my, because that's where we would stop on road trips mm. was Wendy's. Because my dad was like, "I own stock in Wendy's. We're gonna eat Wendy's." I was like, oh, "Okay, <laughs> so it works out great." Because I like Wendy's. Do you hear somebody pooped in the chili machine? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I my favorite fry, hands down. Uh, it's not a fast food fry, to my knowledge. Uh, is a very is a nice, well done, crispy steak fry. I like so a I've steak fry. A lot of people do not like steak God, fries, I but love I, steak I fries. like a even if it's not a super good one. I kind of don't mind it when a fry tastes potatoey. No, neither do I. I mean, I like potatoes. Yeah, uh, I like potatoes in a lot of different forms, like oven fries, which I guess technically aren't fries, mm-hmm. but I mean like. Potatoes that are cut like fries and then put in the oven. I love that. Yeah. I mean, it's that's good. That's good. Yep. Potatoes are good. No, I'm with you. Uh, but I can think of a fast food that does a steak fry that I like. Um, what? Who does? Who does steak fries? I'm trying to think. I can't think of anybody yeah. outside of like some restaurants that will do a steak right. fry. I think the worst. Um, Again, I do. McDonald's makes good fries, but I think McDonald's McDonald's has the worst cold fries. Shelf life on McDonald's fries horrible, man. Awful, horrible. And like I cannot, I can't. I mean, I I have in uh, earlier days, like if fries get cold, I'll um, I'll chop them up. I you can bring back McDonald's fries pretty well. In, Through necromancy. In necromancy. <laughs> the dark arts. <laughs> <laughs> a, a very hot skillet with a little uh, little bit of oil. Yeah? Yep. That'll do it, huh? It'll do it. It'll huh. do a pretty fair... It makes them edible. Yeah. Again. They're not wonderful. It makes yeah. them edible again. Yay. But, like, they're awful. I remember I used to keep cold fries, though, and I would uh, chop it up and put them in, like, omelets and stuff. Yeah? That's that's a good way to still eat a cold fry, is to just save them next day, make a ham and cheese, like, chicken, like sort of like hash browns, cut them up, fry them up. Put them in an omelet. That's a good idea. 
I like a waffle fry. I do like a waffle fry too. They hold up pretty well, even if they're cold, colder. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I feel like Hardee's has pretty decent fries. They're not great, I but can't it's tell like you last time I had one. But it's like I feel like they're not great, but they're consistently okay, even regardless of the temperature. Mm. So I feel like that's their strength. Like if this were a rank, if we were ranking fries, I'd yeah. be like, this is like an all rounder. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I uh, most of the time though, I just skip fries when I eat fast food. That's good, man. That's a I good would, move. I would rather have. I will pick up a bag of barbecue bake lays and get like a two for six, whatever, just the sandwiches. Yeah, and skip the fries. I don't. I'm not crazy. I like fries, but I'm also just not crazy about them. I don't have to have fries. Oh, so I, I, I would rather have a good uh, two good sandwiches than a sandwich and fries. Yeah. I love fries. I'd rather have two orders of fries than yeah, yeah fries on the sandwich. Then we're, good, we're perfect then. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> One of us will die much ne- earlier. I'll never eat your French fries. <laughs> right. Oh, trans fat Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Better wish him happy birthday because you don't know when his next one's. Well, two burger come. Tyler's probably not great either. So. <laughs> well, you take the bun off, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Whenever I'm like on a health food, like when I'm like, all right, so what can I do? Take the butt off. Are you insane? <laughs> what, am I going to eat this behind the dumpster like the raccoon that I am? Like, no, I'm going to eat this with a fucking butt. No, I'm going to be good. Here we go. Give me two McDoubles, <laughs> extra pickles, extra onions. Get those get those vegetables <laughs> Right. In. Yeah, absolutely. But, but a McDouble has one last piece, a, a double cheeseburger, two pieces of cheese, McDouble, one piece of cheese. That seems a little misleading. You oh, think yeah. that the McDouble would have double the cheese? It is kind of. I mean, it, it's cheaper. One it's less sure. calories, but yeah. yeah, like. But I don't need two pieces of cheese. Is a little overwhelming. I can do one piece of cheese on a on a thin, dry ass McDonald's burger. So. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's fine. Man, um, best hot fry though. Andy's Andy Caps. Andy Caps hot fries. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with that. That sounds good. <laughs> How you like that? You like that shit, Adam. Uh, I'd like to kind of wrap it up. It's been like a little over an hour and a half. Okay. We have more calls. I'm hungry. I got somewhere that I need to be in like an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. So I want to eat. do that and, shit then. Yeah. Uh, do you want to, do? how do you want to. what we're going to do next do you week. Wa- or do you want to do calls again next week? Do you want to do a game? Uh, What's, what do you want to do? As much as I really have enjoyed just doing calls. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Well, um, fuck, let's do it again. You sure? I think you're probably yeah. going to. Okay, we did yeah. two in a row. All right. I mean, let's do it again. I mean, the feedback that I've gotten recently has been everybody's been very supportive yeah. after listening on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's, it sounds like you didn't get like a lot of rest. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's do this. Let's. I'm, I'm down to do this again. Okay. I mean, yeah, this was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope everybody listening enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, not at any point was I miserable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. got that going for us, which is nice. Yeah. Um. And you do whatever you want on Sunday if you're going to stream on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm going to stream on Sunday. I did Kid Dracula last Sunday, which that was a good stream. I, I really liked watching you the the Game Boy thing that was up. That was good. I that's like a that. fun game. Yeah. I'd never played Kid Dracula before, mm-hmm. and it's like. I just was laughing at you. J- Joe was just have a shotgun. Fuck this guy. Wait, what? When Jason chased with an axe and oh, then had a yeah, shotgun. Yeah, no, it was full of surprises like that. It was, yeah, Kid Dracula, good game. Definitely check it out. Um, and yeah, and I was running that through the Super Game Boy 2 on the, through the SNES. Uh, so yeah, it was cool. I wanted to try that out. Um, Kid Dracula, unofficially Alucard. Uh, okay. Son of Dracula with white hair. So it's like, okay. Oh, this yeah. is Alucard. Okay, it has to be Alucard. <laughs> Although apparently Konami has never like ruled officially whether or not it's Alucard <laughs> because it's clearly like a joke kind of yeah. game. Yeah. So I understand why they wouldn't want to be like, yeah, it's Alucard. Canonically, this is Alucard. But I mean, at the same time, Konami, come on, it's a video game. It's what, not. What are you, you know what I mean? Anyway, Konami. Toon Link is part of the fucking Nintendo verse, so <laughs> yeah, Toon right. Alucard probably can be yep. too. It's fine. Just stop pulling the lever on your pachinko machine long enough to go like. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, for real. Fra- the mo- Frankenstein's monster is literally a boss in your game. So it's like, it's fine. You can do whatever you want. Yep. <laughs> it's like, it's we true. don't take this seriously. Nope. <laughs> well, thanks for listening, everybody. You can find the show on uh, iTunes, on YouTube, on Spotify, Google Play, tapog.com, thebomb.com, Facebook, thebomb.com. You're the man now, dog.com. No. 
That'd be nice. That yeah. would be. We might yeah. be on there. We just don't know. Maybe it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Newgrounds.com. Yeah, yeah. You need a good Tadpog Flash game on Newgrounds. Suckdickmurda.com. Suckdickmurda.tk. <laughs> 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 okay, <right? laughs> so have uh, we talked about that on the show ever? Surely we have. Surely well, oh, we probably have. in the long, long ago. Probably. Yeah. So, uh, hey, you want to send us something? Yeah. You send us something for the show? You send that to uh, Tadpog Studios, care of Nicole Nance, P.O. Box 3785, Paducah, Kentucky, 42002. You want to call us, build back up. We've got all the calls that we're yeah. catching up, set aside. They're yeah. in a folder. That's what we're going to go through. But if you want to rebuild that call log, uh, we'll get to those sooner rather than later probably since we're mowing through all our backlog. So you can call 270-883-2555. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like us, you know, like us on Facebook. There's uh, memes and episode posts. And if you'd like uh, some more some more dank fan content, that's Tadpog Nation. Get past the robot. Get in. Or if you like a good, organized, structured fan chat, you can always get that Discord full of, full of good, good people. Yeah, that's bit.ly slash Tadpog Discord. And like, I think that when you mentioned like the, the phone number and everything, I, I mean, I think we should bring calls back and like okay. just like integrate them in as Try we, do a as few we can. Episode. Yeah, yeah. I think that was because I mean, I don't know. I think my big thing, like, even like, on what we talked about last episode was like I want there to be I like it when there's more conversation and yeah. it's like this has been great because I mean it does feel like we've just been cracking jokes and just having like real conversations it's, about it's French fries yeah, yeah totally no it's great it feels less like a a I, book it, report yeah and mm-hmm. it's never like scripted or anything what mm-hmm. we do but I mean it is very much like I mean it's a lot more fun to just. Sometimes do this, yeah, and that's yeah, why I want to yeah, do it. Yes. Just one more time. Give one us more one time. more. Give of another these. week to catch up, and then then we'll get back yeah. into the shit Super Nintendo yeah. games. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else do we do? We're Tadpog underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, you got that Twitch. Yeah, I'm uh, cut back to streaming just on Sunday nights. But if you want to hang out with me on Sunday. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash tadpog underscore podcast. It'd be cool to, to see you uh, if you want to come and hang out. It's uh, it's typically a good time. Uh, you want a shirt? Shirts.tadpog.com. You want a mask for a little while longer? If you're, you know, whatever you want to do, mask.tadpog.com. Most importantly, we got that a Patreon. We do, the Patreon. Do you have that? I do. All right, okay. Uh, let me expand it a little bit. That's uh, patreon.com slash tadpog. Uh, originally, this episode was going to be a Patreon bonus episode, um, but we're going to get some stuff on there. <laughs> Just give us a little time. Yeah. We, we know. This has, been a, this has been a hard time. Everybody knows. I mean, the, the support and comments of people who have reached out have yeah. been very no, kind. It's Thank been you. Been very nice. Everyone's Life been, is just very busy. Yes. Yeah, everyone's been very understanding. Um, but it does seem like... You see my PTO calendar at work. Everybody's very busy. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, new pledge, Miles Jacob. Thank, thank you, Miles. You, thank you, Miles. Let's see. Uh, doubling up, Nate from Utah. First time, first time first caller, time caller Nate. Damn. Thanks, Nate. Got oh, his sound effect. On uh, Twitch. Uh, huge ups from Lord Mike at Purdue. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, Lord Mike. Man. Uh, another big ups from John Thompson. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, John. And then big ups from, uh, uh, thank you, congratulations on your marriage, Nicole Ryan. Hey, yeah, thank you, Nicole. That's awesome. Fuck yeah. Oh, uh, our theme song is moved by Sycamore Drive on that track, Sunshine at Yeah. How you want to close it out, Dave? Uh, let's close it out as, um, that's a good question. Our favorite French fry, maybe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a little, that's a little, a little bizarre. I'm going to do it as Melissa's favorite French fry. As Melissa's favorite French fry? Favorite, yeah. Favorite product. product. French fry product. product. That's a very interesting distinction. Yeah. A French fry product. Yep. Andy Cap hot fries. <laughs> she does love Andy Cap hot fries. Who does no it? Lie. They're good. That's what I remember. I wanted to be different, so I'd always eat those. Uh, you might be 
in elementary school, we'd have like a break where they'd give us soda and then we could pick a bag of chips or whatever out of this big box. Yeah. And I would always dig through because there were a few bags of handicap hot fries in that big bag. Yeah. And people always look at me funny, be like, yeah, look at me funny. I'm looking at these fucking it, hot fries. I remember the first time I got those on a road trip mm-hmm. and was like sorely disappointed. I don't know what I expected. I, I, uh, I was a kid. I'm sure I expected hot, fries. hot fresh fries. <laughs> Steam like out McDonald's, of the bag, you right? open it up, and steam it's comes like, out like well, a bag yeah, of popcorn right, out of the microwave. It's right. And it's like, I mean, keep in mind, I was also the kid who saw the Guess Who commercial. Uh, and like when the when the faces on the board game didn't talk, I was like, what? Yeah, well, so many kids thought that they made that addition. So. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I totally expect to open up the Andy Caps fries and it's steamy and you eat them and it's like, what is this? <laughs> but I ended up liking them anyway. So all right, you got all right. me. I want to figure out how to make that now. <laughs> Andy Caps actually hot fries, <laughs> actually hot actual fries, real fries, <laughs> real fl- real fry flavor. Well, so until next time. Oh, tropical, tropical Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorn. Love. I was handicapped. Oh. oh. <laughs> He's British, right? He's, I don't know. I don't know. I thought you were doing a Jamaican thing. <laughs> yeah. well, welcome to McDonald's, man. <laughs> handicapped, man. Come on, fries. Steel drums. <laughs> I'm a drunk. <laughs> I play Yoshi's Island, man. Sorry for being culturally insensitive to Jamaican <laughs> listeners. <laughs> and handicap insensitive to handicap fans. Handicap, I don't know. Handicapsters. There are no handicap <laughs> fans. It's fine. <laughs> handicapsters. <laughs> Andy Caps would be like a good like if you're like a mushroom dealer that'd be like a great nickname. Yo, it's Andy Shit. Caps. That's uh, <laughs> you gotta play a Mike Noid in our next five oh. game and your name is Andy Caps. Oh fuck yeah! I've always <laughs> wanted to do that, Mike Noid Monk. Fuck yeah! You know? Yeah man. Yeah. Andy Cap, there he comes. <laughs> It'll be Andy Caps. I got to throw Andy an S. Caps. I'm Southern. I can put S on the end of That's things. That's true. <laughs> Aldi's. Yeah, I stand in front Kroger's. of the Krogers and sell my caps. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was the Colonel. Because Melissa loves no longer available, but the KFC uh, potato wedge. Oh, they don't do potato wedges anymore. Nope. No. Nope. You know who doesn't do a good fry? Taco Bell. The nacho fries? You're right. They don't, yeah, <laughs> they, those aren't good. I did try them and they're not, because of course I did. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, no, I did too. Of course I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you know what I do like? I do like those um, jalapeno cheese fries that Wendy's would do. Oh, really? Yeah, mm. yeah, those are good. But the, what I was, you, when you said KFC, potato wedges, Popeyes, man. Popeyes has like, they're on the same level as rallies or checkers where it's like, Pretty tasty, but like super, super greasy uh, and kind of crunchy. Mm-hmm. And it's like every time I eat like Popeye's fries, I'm like, I'm absolutely going to have diarrhea later. Like this is like I'm making it, you know, what? Like, uh-huh. I'm accepting it as I'm eating it where it's like, this is good, but I'm definitely going to almost shit my pants later. <laughs> so <laughs> They still have a few vats of Olean back there that they probably <laughs> use. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, we, we should do executive producers mm. uh, as well. Uh, this show was executive produced by the following people. These are the folks who donate to us at $20 a month on patreon.com slash tadpog. Thank you very much. We have God Emperor Alex Pena, Cousin David Galino, Cthusius Jeff Miners, Laud Mulaney Dennis, Sue Slazer, Steve Dixon, Plinko Nick Price, Clambro, Cody Phillips, Lint Licker, Joseph Phillips, Bantha Master, executive producer Dig Dougie, the Eightfold Daniel Abernathy, Time Lord Josh Edwards, Game Bug Prime, Nate, Nathan uh, Eaton, uh, Matt Gentile, a.k.a. Gentle G, congratulations on your marriage, Magical Sleeper, a.k.a. Big Dick Pie Baker, Chris Vaughn, uh, Temporary Eternal Savior, Cubicle Monkey, <laughs> <laughs> Pinball Archmage, Chris Edler, I'm sorry you couldn't be on this episode, Sandwich Pope, Phil Hawkins, Nate from Utah, First Time Caller, Drinksmith, Joey Webster, Big Daddy Paul Anderson, Edgelord, Kyle Pertleball, Master Cycle Baron, Kevin Link, and John of 1000 Names. Thank you, guys. Thanks. And now a dramatic reading. <clears throat> when I was a little bitty boy, my grandmother bought me a cute little toy. Sil- silver bells hanging on a string. 
She told me it was my dingaling. Dingaling, my dingaling, I want to play my dingaling. My dingaling, my dingaling, I want to play my dingaling. And then my mother took me to grammar school, but I stopped all in the vestibule. Every time the bell would ring, you catch me playing with my dingaling. Once I was climbing the garden wall, I slipped and had a terrible fall. I fell so hurt, so hard I heard bells ring, but held on to my dingaling. Once I was swimming across Turtle Creek, many snappers all around my feet. Sure was hard crossing that thing with both hands holding my dingaling. This here song, it ain't so sad. The cutest little song you've ever had. Those of you who will not sing, you must be playing with your own dingaling. My dingaling, your dingaling, your dingaling. We saw you playing with your dingaling. My dingaling. Everybody sing, I want to play with my dingaling. Was that Kenny Chesney? What was that? Close. Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real song? That's a real song. That's a real song? That's a real song. I like the part about the snappers. <laughs> 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 that was pretty clever. <laughs>